Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zon Ta of Repro Products. This screencast will showcase wall closure feature within doors and windows in Revit. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zon Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017. I have a wall that is just a simple exterior brick on metal stud. I've got a door and I've got a couple windows that I've placed. There is a feature within walls and doors and windows that revolve around wrapping the layer of information around an opening or the ends of a wall. For example, here in the type properties window of this wall, if we drill into the edit assembly, you'll notice that you'll see default wraps at insert and you can choose between do not wrap, exterior, interior, or both. The default is do not wrap. You'll also notice that there is a column called wraps and by default every layer that you create has a check mark in it to apply the wrap condition except for the layers that are within the core boundary section. Those layers cannot be wrapped. So if we also look at the end condition here we can also specify the wrapping to be exterior or interior. We, we make a change for example like that, click OK, hit OK, you'll notice you'll get changes like the brick is wrapping around because that's the exterior side. One of the things that people have a weird situation going on when we talk about the wrapping of a layer of a system family around an opening, <clears throat> we can't really seem to control the placement of how far it wraps down. So for example over here, it wraps down slightly more than here. And that's because when you take a look at the family itself, let's look at this door family, and I go to edit that particular family. I'll go to the ground floor plan. Uh, by default, one of the reference planes will have a feature that whether it is checked to be a wall enclosure feature or not. And if it does, then the wrapping feature looks at this particular reference plane and moves uh, based upon the position of this reference plane and therefore will give you how much wrapping it's going to happen. So over here for a door they don't really have one so I actually just created a another reference plane. I called it closure. I placed a check mark for wall closure and then I parameterized that distance. So now I have the ability to adjust that distance. So if I go back to the actual project that has the wall and the door I can select that door go to its type properties because I made it a type property it could be instance as well but we can go in here we can change this value it's currently six so if I go ahead and make, so let's say I make this uh, four inches and we click OK you'll see that that wrap condition is adjusted in the same vein you have windows as well and with the windows if you go to its type properties or go to its family and drill into it you'll also notice that it has a reference plane that is a closure and it's checked as well. I just parameterized it so that way I can control that independent of the wall wraparound. And that's it. This is a quick video tutorial on uh, wall closure and wrapping a layer of system information family. Thank you very much for watching.